enemy are at the Mobile World Congress booth, VMware by Broadcom. Sanat, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Eamon? I'm well. It's day one. Yes. Um, and I'm losing my voice, believe it or not. <laughs> but So you're going to have to do most of the talking. How's day one for you? What's top of mind here, day one at Mobile World Congress? Day one is good. It's been very busy. A lot of uh, traffic. We have a demo here, a hospital on wheels. We've been seeing a lot of people showing interest in that, trying to understand how it works. So it's interesting times. Uh, I don't think I've seen uh, MWC as busy as this before. So. 95,000 people. It is crazy. And I, I love how your, your demos are actually very practical, real-world use cases. Yeah. They're not just science projects. Yeah. I mean, the, the ambulance, for example, these are real-world healthcare applications. Right. So tell us about some of the examples or illustrations you've put together. Yeah, Evan, so this is, a, this is the interesting part about edge compute, right? This is what I love about edge. So I've been in the edge space for almost 20 years now, more than 20 years. So I started off uh, in the edge space doing IoT at Cisco, and then I did Intelligent Edge at HP, and now I'm doing edge compute at uh, VMware by Broadcom. The thing that I love most about Edge is how close it is to actual outcomes that customers want. So this is all about practicality. This is not about something which is many steps separated from what the customer actually wants or what people actually want to do. This is about what people are doing at any given moment to get their business outcomes, capturing that, enabling that, making that a reality. So this, uh, uh, this uh, hospital on wheels that I was talking about, right, uh, this is an interesting one. We were actually enabling uh, people who are running ambulances to do more within that ambulance, to make that experience better for them and for the people who are using the ambulance service at any given time. So very exciting stuff. This is, uh, this is the type of stuff that uh, I live for. So. So, uh, so powerful to see edge compute in action. Yeah. Um, talk about the service provider edge versus the enterprise edge. There are these edges popping up everywhere. Yeah. Um, how do you work with your service provider customers and how is it different from typical large global enterprise? Yeah, so there are, uh, so if you look at the edge space, right, the edge space uh, is uh, a combination of many different types of edges. It's not uh, all the same. Where they are in terms of their evolution is different as well. Our enterprise customers, um, they are starting to look at how to actually start monetizing the modernization that is happening at the edge. The intelligence that has been put in the, at the edge, how do you take advantage of that and how do you convert that into outcomes for them? For example, uh, we have enterprise customers who are in the manufacturing space. They are starting to monetize um, the uh, enablement that they have done on the factory floors, virtualizing PLCs and other applications that they have over there. On the service provider side, um, it is uh, something where the service providers are starting to figure out how to uh, enable the, uh, the aspects that uh, our enterprise customers have already figured out in many cases. So the enterprise customers are looking for scale, somebody to come in and help them with the connectivity, help them scale all these things out, and the service providers are coming in and helping them with that. So it's, a, um, it's, a, uh, it's the evolution, where they are in terms of uh, evolution in these spaces varies, but um, uh, I think overall, the edge is moving forward in a way that we have never seen it move forward before. And there are so many different variety of applications and endpoint and use cases, video, audio, large language models yeah. now on, on the edge. Yeah. Um, is interoperability one of your key value props? What are the other drivers for VMware by Broadcom? Yeah, so if you uh, look at uh, the edge space, right, um, what we're seeing is that uh, depending upon the vertical that you're in, there, the state of the art is different. So there are some verticals, like retail is an example, where there's an explosion of applications happening at the edge. So within the retail stores, for example, we are seeing some store uh, owners deploying 20, 25 applications within a single store. Wow. So the amount of applications that are there, how they leverage some of the compute that they have available to them, how they use GPUs, how they use the storage, that is a complicated uh, environment to operate in. So what we are doing is, right, that we are helping these customers, we are building a platform which is called the Edge Compute Stack. That platform essentially allows these customers to enable all these applications in a uniform way on the, uh, within their store environments and allow these applications to take advantage of the common infrastructure that is underneath that, uh, uh, 
underneath those applications in an effective manner. Uh, other verticals are at different stages of evolution. For example, uh, in manufacturing, we are starting to see more movement towards having uh, the number of apps that are on the factory floor uh, be put on virtualized infrastructure. But it's not as far along uh, in terms of its evolution as we are seeing in some of the other verticals such as retail. So it varies, but uh, interoperability, how these applications work together, how they actually um, uh, address some of the challenges that we have in terms of uh, they're using the same infrastructure, those are things that we are solving for our customers today. Super exciting. You have an entire week of meetings, I'm sure it's jam-packed. Yes. What kind of collaborations do you see here at Mobile World Congress? You have the telcos, you have integrators, yeah. MSPs, hyperscalers, customers, yeah. end, end yeah. users. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give us a peek into your week. Your, your schedule yeah, must yeah, be yeah. pretty so busy. The, the fun part about uh, Edge is that there is no one company mm. or even one group of vendors can actually make it happen. There is just no way. There's so many moving parts in terms of hardware, software, the various types of uh, ISVs that have to come into play. How do you provide connectivity? Where does the security come from? How do you manage the risk, the storage aspect? There's so many things that have to come together to enable this. And then the people aspect of it, right? The edge is as much about technology as it is about the people that are using that technology. That combination makes edge come to life. So what MWC allows us to do, right, is to bring all these people, all these various types of players together in one place so they can see what are the challenges each other are facing and then address those challenges in a way which makes sense for uh, them to grow their businesses. So it's, a, it's an amazing place uh, to collaborate, it's an amazing place to connect. So I'm very excited to be here and talking about Edge to all these folks. It's great to see uh, Broadcom committed to doubling down on Edge infrastructure and R&D and investment. What has to happen to really fulfill the promise of the Edge in terms of hardware, software, solutions? Um, how, how can you make it easier for customers yeah. to deploy, yeah. monetize those applications? No, Evan, that's uh, spot on, right? So uh, today when a customer of ours comes to us and um, they want to deploy some applications that would enable some outcome, let's say it's a retailer, they have a problem with theft in their stores and they're trying to reduce that theft by putting some computer vision applications uh, in their store environments. Uh, the path for them to go from that idea to actually realizing that reduction in theft is a very long and challenging path. They have to figure out what software they want to use, they have to figure out what hardware they want to use, they have to figure out what type of partnerships. Then once they have figured all that out, the whole deployment of this infrastructure in their stores, and then how do you manage all that infrastructure? That's not easy. It's a complicated path. So what we are, the focus of VMware Broadcom, is to create a come up with this platform which essentially makes all of these steps that you have to get to, to get to the enablement and get to the outcome, very simple and very easy. That's what Edge Compute Stack is all about. This is the product that we have uh, brought out. This is available to customers today. Uh, one of the components of Edge Compute Stack is called the VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator. This orchestrator essentially makes it super easy for our customers to take certified apps, deploy them effectively, and then manage them in environments which essentially are massive data center, and very different from massive data center environments in the sense that there's a lot of small amount of compute spread across a lot of different sites with varying amounts of connectivity. So that's, uh, that platform is our answer to getting from the initial state where there is an idea to an actual outcome that the customer is going for. That platform solves for that complexity that our customers are facing. Oh, well said. So I, I dare not ask you beyond this week, you have your hands full, but what are you looking forward to personally, professionally, the rest of this quarter, the rest of the next couple of months? Any other events, activities, travel? Yeah. That, uh, no, it's exciting times for us. Uh, I'll tell you, I've never seen uh, the amount of momentum that we, have, we are seeing in Edge uh, in my 20 years in the Edge space uh, before. Um, we are seeing uh, a lot of movement on the uh, retail side. Mm. The retailers are looking to improve how they uh, run their stores. Uh, efficiency, reducing costs, reducing theft. A uh, lot of these things are becoming paramount for them and they're looking to technology to enable uh, applications which would make these things uh, happen. On the manufacturing side, we are starting to see momentum like I've never seen before. Um, 
what's happening is that uh, our manufacturers on the factory floors for years, right, decades, they've been stuck in this environment where the hardware and the software are combined together and they're stuck with the software which comes with the hardware that they purchase. Now they're looking to disaggregate. They want to build a software-defined factory floor. That software-defined factory floor is what we are enabling for them. We bring the technology for them, we are catering to the protocols that they have, Profinet, Ethercat, whatever uh, technology they might have underlying their applications, we are making sure that those are catered for. So the coming months and years, uh, uh, months and years for me, are gonna be about taking that transformation which is happening in some of these verticals. Manufacturing and retail are at the forefront, but there are many other verticals that are coming behind them as well. Where we see uh, this uh, technology making the customer's business uh, something which they have never seen before. So this is, for me, this transformation is coming, uh, coming to a point where a lot of us will start seeing it in a way that we've never seen before. Well, so exciting, so much opportunity, so much change. It is. But alas, change is, is good, necessary, yes. and congratulations on all the success. No, thank you very much, and I'm excited to be talking uh, to folks here. Have a great week. This week. Thank you. Appreciate it.